Hi guys, Gareth here and welcome back to the FIFA Italy World Road to the World Cup series and as you can see today we take on Romania and our second away from home and our second game is against Northern Ireland at home so uh, a win here I believe qualifies us as top of the group um, which is great, you know, away at Romania is a winnable game players like Pantilamon, Radu though, um, good players but we've put out a pretty strong team ourselves um, you know, it's at the time it was my strongest team, I have had a few changes um, now because I've played on a bit but at the time this is what I believe is my strongest team um, and it is a very good team um, so yeah anyway but Stwine there just um, it's just shambolic or defending players all over the place sliding in and around everywhere I just don't really know what happened and then Balotelli managed to hit the post but uh, El Shari was offside so um, the follow up wasn't able but from that offside uh, Ogbonna on the head and look at this for a fake shot from Balotelli and then the little touch around little shot not the strongest Pantilamon probably should have saved but um, it did go in anyway so I'm perfectly happy to take it a bit of a p-roller but hey um, it was right in the corner not easy for even a goalkeeper like Pantilamon who is very tall to get to that uh, but then Marchetti really really poor just fumbles it back out um, Rosescu manages to score I remember he had a really good game against us last time we played them and Torj now, again, really terrible for Marchetti, and again, not great for Mogbonna either. Mogbonna and Marchetti just a bollock, a bollock, um, diabolic at the back. And at half time, we're 3 1 down, so I decided to bring on Insigne for El Shiroui and put, what's his face, Juvenko on the wing, because I just thought that would work out best. Um, but here, Romania get a penalty, it's never a penalty, it's a, it's a perfectly fine tackle, it's not a great tackle. Um, but you know it's perfectly fine nothing wrong with it and they do stick that penalty in off the top uh, off the bottom of the crossbar so we do go 4-1 down but Insigne was just an absolute pace bomb 96 pace 96 acceleration we are a couple of years in now so um, he has his stats have improved quite a bit um, and he just bombed down and smacked into the back of the net to get us kind of back in the game at 4-2 down um, but that's a really nice a fake shot and just puts it into the far corner and then here Insigne with a bit of strength could have got past that defender and actually scored um, but he couldn't um, and as you can see I, I make Diaman I make some changes bring on Diamante and Notturino. Notturino is a really really good player I, I um, played with him at AC Milan before as Insigne puts us 4-3 down um, but yeah I've played with Notturino at um, AC Milan before and he's just literally one of the best midfielders I've ever played with in this game he's so good and his stats do not represent how good he is De Rossi here has a shot bang he is a very good long shot taker and that pulls this level at 4-4 so we've managed to fight back from 4-1 down yes okay it's against Romania but it still shows fight to get back really poor to actually go 4-1 down in the first place but really happy to have actually pulled it back um, and Insigne can we get the win Insigne crosses it in here Balotelli just couldn't put it into the back of that. It does end 4-4. So at the end of the day, a point away from home isn't terrible, but it's against Romania. Uh, we need to be doing better than that, really. Uh, and Senior gets man of the match, but we have a manager interview coming up, so I hope you enjoy it. Not a great result, but a good fight back. So how did you see your performance of your side today? Yeah, well, the end result from today's game wasn't the one we were aiming for at the start of the day. But at the end of the day, you look at it and you think, well, we were 4-1 down, three goals down. Um, okay, their penalty never was a penalty, but it got given and they got their fourth goal. Um, so we had to move on, we had to get the th at least the three back, and we almost uh, actually ended up winning the game. Um, but unfortunately we couldn't. Insigne, great debut, you know, um, great start for him, two goals. But ultimately it just wasn't enough. Disappointed, but also relieved that we didn't actually lose the match, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So a disappointing display against Romania overall. So now can Italy finish the World Cup qualifiers with a win against Northern Ireland? A win will qualify us definitely. A draw, well a draw will qualify us but not necessarily top of the table. Um, it will come down to goal difference. So I decided to bring in Suriju because Marchetti had a really poor game. Bonucci because Ogbonna had a pretty poor game. De Chilio, just because I wanted to try him out really. Um, and I brought, decided to start Insigne and El Sharawi. Um, so yeah, Northern Ireland lost some good players, Johnny Evans, Stephen Davis, the most notable ones there, but they s get an early chance here, that was actually a foul from Kashito, he does later get a, um, a yellow card, but Sirizu makes a really good save there, um, De Rossi gets played through here, can he score? 
No, he puts it just wide. And at half time, it's nil nil. That's about the best of what happened in the first half. There wasn't a whole lot, but I was trying to play it a bit more safe. Anyway, Balotelli picks the ball up here early on in the first half, second half, sorry, and rifles it in to the top corner. What a goal that was! Let's take another look on the replay here as he celebrates. But look at this here. No fake shots. No, normally I would do a fake shot there. That this time I didn't. I just had to power it, and he smacked it in. So I'm really happy with that. De Rossi. He scored from here um, in the last game, similar position. Um, but he couldn't do this. Right. Ogbonna, Diamanti, and Jovinko all come on. And Jovinko, look, he's the one, he just came on, takes the cross, takes the corner, and Ogbonna, who also just came on, heads into the back of the net. So two brilliant substitutions uh, working straight away to put us 2 0 up in the 68th minute, I believe it was. Um, Northern Ireland do fight back to get it to 2 1, 77th minute, but I was still you know, pretty confident we could still win this one. Uh, Balotelli has a little scissor kick and actually gets a touch on there, so it's not a corner. Um, but here, look at this scrappiness at the end, at the, right at the end of the game, 90th minute. I just, I thought I was going to be a penalty. It wasn't. And Lafferty just lashes it wide, and I was happy that we could get get away with it. And here, they, you know, I thought I was going to go in, but then just some stupidness passed it straight out to McGinn here. McGinn rounds Sirizu. I, oh, that is just completely my fault. It's just so annoying when I do something like that. But hey, it happened. I've got to get over it now. Um, Brunt plays in. This is the literally the last kick of the game, and luckily it just goes wide. McGinn missing a really good chance there. And we could have, you know, thrown that away and lost, but we managed to get the point, and we do win the group. So you've won the group, laddie. How do you feel? And do you think you can win the World Cup? How do you feel? You cunt. Yeah. Well, again, like the Romania game, this one here today against Northern Ireland was a. It wasn't the easiest match, but um, and in the end, it the result wasn't the greatest. Um, but it's it's enough to get us top of the group, um, so I'm perfectly happy to do that, to get that um, result. And we go to the World Cup, hope we can improve. We've got friendlies against Holland, um, Spain, you know, we've got USA coming up. Uh, we've got some really tough friendlies coming up, so I'm really looking forward to them. I'm looking forward to seeing how we do. Hopefully we can prove ourselves, um, because the last few games, certainly we haven't been at our best. But I think we, I think we can do really well in these upcoming friendlies, and... I think we're still in the World Cup, yeah. Meet me for a point down the pub. Okay, thank you. So there it is. We have qualified for the World Cup. Top of the group on goal difference. But thank you for watching. Please hit that like button if you did enjoy. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.